we start with a standard sensor. Standard sensor mean a single head ultrasonic sensor, transmitter and receiver in one. And the standard sensor shall measure the distance between the sensor and the object. And to do this, we measure the time of flight between emitting a sound impulse and receiving an echo signal. And as you can see here, we have a watch inside that measures the time when we emit the sound impulse, we start, the sound propagates through the air, is reflected by the object, comes back as an echo signal, and we measure the time from emitting the sound impulse to receiving the echo signal. We know the speed of sound in air multiplied by the measure time divided by two because we go the way two way times, we know the distance. A dual, dual sensor head is used for the barrier systems. We have a transmitter and a receiver, and we use also uh, the runtime measurement. In that way, we know the mounting distance between transmitter and receiver, and when we emit the sound impulse, a sheet gets in vibration and the receiver receives a signal and with the runtime measurement we open a gate that we only receive the first incoming signal. This is measured. All other signals are ignored. So we have also the combination runtime measurement and measuring the strength of the signal. Okay. Well, I would say this is a lot of um, important information. Let me summarize that for our viewers. Um, what we have learned now is there are two different um, measure, measuring principles. We have to talk about the single head ultrasonic sensor, the dual head ultrasonic sensor. The single head ultrasonic sensor measures the distance between sensor and an, and a, an object. Um, the dual head ultrasonic sensor measures the strength of an incoming signal. Is that right? That's right. Here we are interested in the runtime between emitting the sound impulse and receiving the echo signal. We don't care about the strength of the echo signal. We have the saying in Microsonic, we are happy if we get an echo signal, independent if it's a good or bad echo signal. The most important point is to measure the runtime um, of the echo signal. Here on the dual head, where we have separated transmitter and receiver, we use also the runtime. We have a fixed mounting distance between transmitter and receiver always, and we know the mounting distance. When the transmitter receives an echo signal, after the propagation time to receive the receiver, we open a gate because we want to detect only the very first incoming signal and we measure the strength of the signal. So here is a focus on the strength of the signal and on the single head ultrasonic sensor is the, uh, the focus on the runtime. <laughs>